output gaps. Output gaps are important to understand as they identify problems in an economy. So what do they show? With a positive output gap, aggregate demand exceeds an economy's potential at Y. This can be troublesome as it can cause inflation, which is a significant economic problem. Let's look at this. When aggregate demand exceeds long-run aggregate supply, or LRAS, any increase in AS, such as V to W, which attempts to meet demand is likely to be unsustainable. The price level is driven up to P3, creating inflation. Demand pull inflation could arise from increases in wages, or lower indirect tax, which stimulates consumption, or through a monetary variable, such as lower interest rates or increased money supply. The AD curve shifts to the right. The gradient on the AS curve has an effect on the extent of inflation. The more it is inelastic, the greater the inflationary effect. A negative output gap exists when actual aggregate demand is below an economy's potential at Y. When AD is insufficient to enable the economy to reach its capacity at Y, there is a downward pressure on output, employment at Y2, and the price level at P2. The consequence of this is rising unemployment and deflation, two problems to be avoided. A fall in AD can result in less output at Y2, and higher unemployment at U2. Assuming the output in the economy is at Y, a sustained fall in AD can result in less output, with fewer workers in demand. Falling prices, called deflation, can originate from both the demand and the supply side. Deflation can be benign, caused by improvements in supply, which lower costs, or malign, caused by falling aggregate demand. The two types can occur together in a deflationary spiral.